Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 19. Right, in the last episode, <laughs> yes, I'm still triggered by this game and I need to calm down and I apologise for getting, like, just so, getting letting this game just grrr, creep its way under my skin. I need to just calm down and just accept it for what it is, just play the game, that's it. There's going to be, like, cock-ups galore from like bad coding and stuff like that and I just have to do that so I apologize and we'll just see where the game takes us that's all I'm gonna have to try and do just calm myself down because um, as soon as I calm myself down as you saw in yesterday's episode with, with Malaga things were a lot better weren't they like you know as you know especially in the games where I wasn't actually <laughs> like you seeing me visually like you know what I mean but um yeah um there we go anyway I'm still not happy with Mr. Salah. Not happy with him at all. And I'm thinking two ways. There's two ways I'm thinking about this. Replace him outright on that right right hand side. So obviously you can see, I mean, these guys are, are the possibles for replacing Decore. Um, but we'll, that's not happening right now. That'll happen um, um, in the next, next window or whatever. But I've got some players that, you know, um, jump off the page at you in, in regards to... Um, players that could replace, you know, um, now he's not, I was like maybe thinking getting players that, you know, are going to be anywhere near, but to get players that are around like 90 rated is is, is not good in this game, uh, not, e or not good in this game, not easy in this game, especially, I don't even think there is a right winger that is 90 rated in the game, you might be able to, apart from, you know, um, they seem to be on the left or whatever, but anyway, I've got Malcolm, um, who's, I mean, two of them are obviously from uh, Barcelona, so, and we know what our dealings with him in real life are with regards to Barcelona, so maybe we could take one of their players this time instead of them always taking ours. Um, so he's 22, 84 rated, um, and I think pretty much, you know, the, the stats speak for themselves. Like, i um, also got Bernardo Silva, um, and I'm surprised, like, how good his stats actually are, like, you know what I mean, when it comes to, especially his ball control, his crossing, his dribbling, do you know what I mean, his short pass passing all up in the 90s there like you know what I mean so he's not not too bad at all and he can also play in the cam if I wanted to so I could always drop him into the the cam roll and put Neres out there you know so those two could possibly switch I could bring Suso back to the club and um, obviously when we had him he wasn't given I don't think he was given the amount of time on the pitch that he should have been given but you know that's just one of those things and he's definitely flourishing um, at Milan not as good. Um, is 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 not as quick, but he has got some some good. You know, regards to ball control, his crossing and his dribbling and stuff like that, and his short passing is pretty good as well. And then we've got um, Dimbele, and as I moved up, you're just probably thinking, hold on a minute. Yes, I will get to this in a minute. Um, yeah. Um, so as you can see with Dembele, he's got a weak foot. Is 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 five stars as well. Like you know, but look at this acceleration, his agility. Um, his ball control, his crossing, his dribbling, short pass is not as good, um, but everything else is all crying out there. So I'm kind of torn between those four on the right. Now, here's my other thinking. Rather than Mane and the way that Salah, rather, the way that they do, they cut inside and then they use like their opposite foot. Put Mane back to where he was, where he used to play at Southampton and where he used to play... Um, for us, uh, when Coutinho was there, before we even signed Salah, out back on the right-hand side and maybe bring in a left winger. And obviously, yeah, you're thinking, Eden Hazard, really? You know what I mean? Yeah, wait, it gets better. Yeah, <laughs> as you can see, these two are actually over 90 rated, which is who we're going to be trying to replace, a 90 rated player. Now, Neymar is a pain in the arse, and yes, I do not like him at all. Um, I think he's a cheat. I think he's. Um, I, I do honestly think that in certain circles that he is slightly overrated. I think he he inflates his ego more than what he is. Um, he's, he's nowhere near the standards of your Messi's and your Ronaldo's of this world, and he's he should not be on the rating that he is. That's my personal opinion. I'm sure that will cause like controversy in the, in in the comments. But there we go. So. I'm only going to have one more season left after season two anyway. Not played with Neymar before. We've got the money. Um, he's a possibility to bring him in. Um, um, because when it comes to the final season, it doesn't matter if players are going to be moaning that they're not playing because I'm not going to be, going to be here anymore. I'm going to be like 
calling it quits on, on the Liverpool career mode. Um, now, the thing with Eden Hazard is, uh, it doesn't show you here, he's actually only got nine months left on his contract, so I could actually pick him up f for free in January. Um, again, we've got the money, but we might be able to pick him up now. Um, well, not necessarily, you no, know, like right now, but you know what I mean, but... Um, get him in January is what I mean whereas like if I sign him for a free in January I don't get him until the summer that's my sort of thinking about it and I'm thinking well if he's only got that amount of time left on his contract we'd probably get him less because even like you know your assistant manager I don't know if you can see that just there it's saying I mean I'm pointing this way you know you know what I mean but the monitor that I'm looking at uh, but it's saying like between 77 and 96 so we might be able to get him for I don't know 75 something like that which, you know, for a player of his quality, it would be pretty good, you know, to bring in. So, yeah, um, I'm kind of torn, really, um, in what to do. So, I won't do anything in today's, um, um, unless, obviously, one of these players suddenly gets a bid for him. Who do you think? Um, I think I'm going to... I'm gonna get rid of Suso. I know he used to play for us, but I'm gonna. I think he's like down the list. And I'm gonna make it a shorter list. So we'll take Suso out the equation. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Um, if it's gonna be on the right, I think Dembele is the ideal because he can play right, left, and he can play even centre midfield if I want. Malcolm can only play right wing. He could. I could put him on the like left if I wanted to. Like you know what I mean? If that came to me. But I'm just thinking Dembele's got that. That he can kind of play across. I mean, I could even probably play him as a, as a centre forward if I really wanted to, but he probably wouldn't be as good. Um, yeah, I just don't know. And and the thing with Neymar is, if I bring him in, I can always get rid of Isco if he's not having the best of time, and Neymar can always play in the cam. I mean, I've got I have got options. Like, you know what I mean? The thing is, if I bring in someone like Neymar or even Eden Hazard, then. Vinicius Jr. doesn't get as much game time unless I play Vinicius Jr. over on the right. Do you can see where I'm, I'm going? Do you know what I mean with the thought process? But there you go. I'm not going to like dwell too much on it. You can see the players that are there. Let me know down in the comments. Do you want me to put this up as a poll, maybe um, in, in in like Monday's video? Maybe do it that way. Or do you want to? You know, I'll see who comments down below. If there's no comments regarding these, I'm sure there will be. If there's no comments regarding these. We're not com we're not commenting on the, the the CDMs just yet. This is just to do with the wingers. So let me know guys down in the chat and um, we'll push on with today's episode. Okay, so there we go. Right, in today's episode then, we have got Brighton, I think. Oh, West Brom. I was, is it Brighton? Yeah, I knew we had Brighton somewhere. Yeah, so we've got um, we've got West Bromwich Album. We've got a Carabao Cup game against Southend um, and then we've got Brighton. So it's a lot easier game. Hopefully not as stressful. I mean, I'm, I could lose some of these. It could possibly be there, but that PSV game, that Tottenham game, those three games, the last episode just really did me in. And I need to just chill out, just play the game and, and see how it goes from there, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's go take on West Brom, shall we? Right, so as you can see, I've obviously there's the changes to my side because um, of like playing PSV in midweek, um, so not everyone is fully fit. So we've got Joe Gomez are going to be captain of the side, and um, Canseo is back from injury, so I'm going to uh, hopefully that's not going to mess his injury up. Like, you know what I mean by play playing him with a little plaster on it? He usually, kind of like by putting them in, it tends to like make them run it off, doesn't it? Like, you know what I mean? Um, uh, we've got Shakiri going to play out. Um, he's he's kind of not had too many games, has he? So I'm going to play him in place of um, Salah. Um, Esco, Mane, Firmino are in there. We've got Fabinho, Cater. We've got Robertson. So it's really the back line that's that's kind of been more affected um, by by um, the, the stamina issues. Like whereas the front front lot um, have obviously um, had the rest. Um, in regards to um, West Brom, as you can see, um, not as good because obviously they've, they've just come up from the Championship and stuff. Um, so no one necessarily going to be like troubling us. They shouldn't be troubling us, but you know how this game can be. So we've just got to be, you know, with playing five at the back, they're, they're obviously trying to sit and try and maybe count us, get us on the counter attack or something like that with the, with the two strikers up front. So here we go then. Okay, so Hawthorne's back in the Premier League with West Brom's promotion. There's Brunt, Jay Rodriguez. 
had so many bad injuries, hasn't he, Jay Rodriguez, over the years? Wow, okay. I'm literally just talking about the players and they just literally have just caught us off guard there. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting that quick start from them. I thought they'd sit back, but they've just come straight through here, just knocked it through, bang, 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 into Mila. And again, keepers are getting caught out far too many times um, on these near posts, aren't they? It's um, just some weird... FIFA 19 weird thing isn't it like you know but there we go you know he's done well to hold it up stay on side Mane oh thought his leg was dragged away there Mr Mane's was um, kind of pulled away but referee wasn't having any of it okay Andy Robertson Navi Keita try get back Keita now maybe he found some space I think it's actually come off Bobby Firmino Keita hit it. I don't know how there's some kind of deflections happened in there. Because I didn't press for Bobby to hit it. So is he? I don't know if he's automatically hit him or is it's come off him. Is it going to show from here? I think it's come off his heel. Has it come off? I'm going to see it from here. It's, I think it's come off his calf. <laughs> Bobby's running away celebrating. And it's literally come off his calf and he doesn't know anything about it, but we'll take the goal. I think Nabi won't be too, too pleased about that, to be honest. They're knocking it around well every time. It's like so hard to get a block in and wow. I don't know who got, whether it was a block from a defender or a save. I think it's a save. I think the way Allison's. No, Akanji did not get there. This is a superb save from Allison. Wish he'd have done that in the first goal um, that went in. All right, whipped in again. Come on. Oh, it's there. We're just not winning these headers. We just, every time we're jumping up and the AI always wins the headers in your box. It's just a, it's just, I don't know. Is it strength? I mean, I think it was one minute. Ah, uh, see what happened there. Cater was marking the player, but it it's. I think Bobby Firmino's went out to him and it's switched and it's. That's why he's not. Uh, it's just a stupid. It's it's always been an issue with FIFA in the fact that it the the, the player changing mechanics are, are messed up on the. I think Pez isn't any better, but it never like plays it because it, it can't. Obviously, it can't tell you. You know, it, it doesn't read my mind. It doesn't know what I'm trying to do. But it just it just always seems to be wrong, like doesn't it? All right, Nabi Keita. Waiting for Caseo to make this run. Can he get a good ball in? It's too close to the keeper. All right, Caseo. Here is Neres. Nabi Keita. Still Keita. Well done, Nabby. Outside of his foot. I'm like, I, I didn't know what, I was like, mm, this this could be risky. It just sort of like, it just kind of opened up here and I just thought, hmm, I can get this. Well done, Nabby. Come on, we can get a winner. Mariano, Shakiri. Back to Mariano. Can he uh, get it out of his feet? No. Okay, uh, into Mane. It's in, no, oh, it just wouldn't fall. It just wouldn't fall to Mariano in the box. Ah, uh, two, two. Luckily we get a point. Uh, it was just bad, bad play really in that one. Um, I just didn't, I didn't, I don't know. Um, they, they caught me napping um, out the blocks early on. They have two shots on target. Two shots in the back of the net. I will stay calm. But anyway, um, next it is the Carabao Cup, guys. Um, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see how we get on against um, South End. Right. So a very much changed side, as you can see, um, to take on um, South End. I hope this isn't going to like come back and bite me. But um, I thought I'd give quite a lot of the youngsters um, a run out. 
that don't get a look in, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you've got, obviously, Mariano's up, up top, he's not a youngster, but we've got, we've got Wilson out there, we've got um, Davis, we've got Curtis Jones, we've got Gaultier, we've got Cook, um, who are like youth players and stuff. Bustos is going to get a start, and we've got Gomez and Delet, and then we've got Guerin, and the goalkeeper, who, who's flying up, like, you know, I mean, he will be 80 rated before we know it. Um, and obviously, Andy Robertson then um, at left back. Um, Against this South End, South End side, who <laughs> we shouldn't have any problems with, you know what I mean? But I didn't think we'd have any problems with West Brom, you know what I mean? So, well, let's 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 go find out, shall we? <laughs> right then, let's see um, how the the young guys um, get on, shall we? Curtis Jones now. Mariano's shouting for it, but it wasn't the best through ball that he could have made it through to him. He will find Mariano now, and Mariano shouldn't have any problems against um, this south end side. He has just found Davis, who's just finished, and I'm going to make him go run. Why not go run to the crowd um, in the cop end? Into Mariano. Maybe hat one. Yes. I thought. I don't think the keeper's going to be, a, you know, be that good. And I thought I'd give him a strike, see if, you know, I thought it might got blocked by a defender, but not to be. Still Jones getting hounded. Does well to hold it up. Cook now. Waiting for Andy Robertson. Nips this in, Mariano. I thought he'd go with his head, but he actually went with his with his foot, like so. That's number three. I thought he would, he would actually go with his head there because he's so good with it. I was just waiting for Andy to, to catch up with the play and he just, just cushions it nicely and keeper's got no chance. As you know, stamina is, is terrible. So we're going to bring Ajaria, who was out on loan um, last season. Oh, it's in. Keeper, what are you doing? I, If you'd have stayed where you were... He might have done better, but he's decided to come out for that one and hop us in. It's like, why is he why is he coming there? He got nowhere near that, nowhere near it. What is he trying to do there? There's two defenders in front of it. He's pushed one defender. He's pushed a lit out of the way to try and get that, and he's thinking, stay where you were. I mean, Andy Robertson's looking at it as if to say, well, where are you, keeps? You know what I mean? That's just inexperience right there. No, that's going to be a goal kick. In fact, that's going to be full time, guys. There we go. Through to the next round. Youngsters did really well. Some of them, you know what I mean, that had the opportunity. So Manchester United are playing Arsenal. While, uh, right, so they could take points off each other. Um, we've just got to make sure that we do what's required of us. Brighton doing actually well in, in real life. I think they're actually 10th, probably in round about 10th in real life. They're doing they're doing pretty good, aren't they, under Chris Ewan? Um, and the 10th here, so... Not to be taken too lightly. Here we go then. Right, so as you can see, I've decided to play Mane. Like, you know, that what I was talking about at the beginning of the, of the video. Where I'm going to play him out on the right. Junior is obviously out on the left. Just to see whether that's, like, going to be an option and it suits my play style or something like that. You know what I mean? It's a possibility. Um, you can see why um, Brighton are in 10th place. They've got some good signings. They've got Joseph Martinez they, they brought in from... Um, Atalanta, I believe, um, in, in the MLS. Um, Loftus Cheek, they've got in there. They've got Van Hinkle as well. They've also got an old Liverpool boy um, at Martin Skirtle there um, in centre back. So, yeah, it's not a bad side. Um, it's a much better side than what West Brom's was, anyway. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, um, could be in front of a tough game. The, the only positive I say in our regard is the fact that we're obviously at home but I have got Van Dijk and I also got Varane back in the side with um, Luca Hernandez and Canseo so the back four is our solid back four like you know what I mean so hopefully um, we should be all right so here we go oh no I've just seen there's a player lying down who is that no where's the free kick where's he where's the referee running off to where? What? What? What has just happened? What? Did they just get... 
Because I had a player lying on the ground. Have they just given offside? Is that what he's done? Is he given offside? It's Var it's Varan that's injured. But he's come across there. How bad is he? I need to check. Mm, not too bad. It's not too bad, so he might be able to run this off. Nicely done by Canseo. We'll just get rid of this. I just don't understand what happened then with regards to the referee pulling that back. Bobby's done really well. Come on. It's Isco, but he's not the quickest. But he might be able to get the overlapping Hernandez coming in on this, and he's going to hit this. Get in! Luca Hernandez has just buried that in the top corner. Wow. String of events there. Oh, Luca Hernandez with a great header. Bobby Firmino now. Mane is wanting this. Sadio Mane. Yes, right on half time. Well, do we play Mane on that side? Hmm, that's the question. I don't know. Um, do we bring Neymar in on the left and we have Sadio Mane on this side? Do I just bring Neymar in and we keep Mo Salah? I don't know. Um, the trouble with doing that, though, is that Neres and Vinicius won't get as many games. That's the thing. Isco. Plays this out here to Mane. Sadio Mane. Great ball in. Chance. Oh, Vinicius. Mane. Because I'm able to cross it with his right foot. Picks up Vinicius. Mane not only has a scored, he's now picked up an assist as well. Takes it down well. Little step over. Picks up Vinicius. And he buries this superbly for number three. Knocked it back. Naby Keita. Ah, oh, tried to get that in. Canseo now. Oh, great ball. Mariano. Yes. <laughs> that was just constant, constant pressure. Not letting him out of that corner. Wow. How has he got that in? <laughs> this is super. Keita hits it there. Forced to Canseo. Canseo just whips this in. And Mariano somehow just gets enough power on it to force it past... Matty Ryan in goal. Goes out here. It's Mane. Plays it across. Chance. <laughs> I said he'd had a poor game by his standards. But he steps up and gets number five. Keep, I think he's, that will keep him at the top of the leading goal scorers. You can't leave him unmarked in the box. That is one thing you can't do. And who is the man that's setting him up? It is... Sadio Mane, who actually flicked it onto his left to like cross that when I was like I was on his right and you know, but he ended up flicking it to his left, so he crossed it really well with his left from that side anyway. So yeah. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game. Really. Five. Well, I thought that Brighton would have given us more of a headache than what West Brom did. Mariano, done well. And there it is, we've got a clean sheet. With me commentating, I don't know how long it has actually been, um, how long it's been before we've got a clean sheet with me actually commentating. But not, not only that, it was a superb performance. Bobby, I would have said, was probably... <laughs> Martin Targer said, Bobby Firmino is probably the best performer. I didn't think he had that good a game. I thought there was so many other players out there that played well. Luca Hernandez especially, I thought he played well. Sadio Mane played sensationally. Brighton were only held to two shots. Like Sadio actually picks up man of the match. Bobby does get a 9.3. Naby Keita only gets a 7.8. He played so much better than that. He was doing so many things. Like Varane should get... Varane should have got more than 8.1. He, he was getting, he was heading away. He was doing so many things. Um, yeah, the two fullbacks, 9.4, 9.3, played superbly, and especially Hernandez. Apart from the fact that Man City aren't anywhere in the, even in the top eight, where are they? Tenth. Man City, where's Spurs? They're down in 12th. So City and Spurs, not doing very well. But you know, you. 
it's maybe Everton are obviously slightly above what you'd you know you'd expect. I mean they've only lost one goal in um, one goal, one game. But so have Crystal Palace have just noticed. Palace have only lost one as well. So that's pretty good from them. Um down at the bottom it's Aston oh jeez. If you're an Aston Villa fan, I apologize. Jesus, look at that. Ten games, ten defeats, only six goals scored. They've only had 18 conceded though, so they must be like losing like one nils and stuff, you know, like really low scores and stuff. That is that is not good reading if you're an Aston Villa fan. It's not good reading if you're a Cardiff fan either, realistically. I mean they're so far off the pace, them two, aren't they? Um yeah, but there we go guys. Um take it easy. Um please comment down below what you think I should do. Play Mane out on the right, bring in Hazard, Neymar, if not, um Leave Mane where he is and bring Dembele in or um, Malcolm or bring Dembele in, play Dembele on the left, play Mane on the you know what I mean? There, there is options, like you know what I mean? So I'd like to hear what you guys um, think about that. Um, but take it easy. If you a like, would be massively appreciated, guys. Um, and I will catch you um, on Monday. Have a great weekend. It's Dave from Mongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.